Hey guys, and welcome back to my brand new tutorial in 2024 and January. So today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at how to create these cute, stunning 3D things, uh, puffy things. Now, this has been specifically requested back in when we still had a default, well, we still have default Mid Journey 5.2. So I finally got around to it. And you know what, what better time to do it? Because we can also compare Mid Journey 5.2 and how it does the tiles and mid journey six. Uh, so we will go over both examples. Guys, and very, very quickly before we get started, if you want to have advanced access to all my tutorials, please consider membership to either Patreon community or YouTube membership. Both links are below this video. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So guys, um, as of today, it's 8th of January, we have folders for this feature. And there's another video tutorial that I've created, and I'm going to pop the link in this video and uh, underneath this video as well. So I've got everything in my uh, folder 3D images. And let's take a look at first things first on um, what we were creating and how we were creating it. What did it look like in Me Journey 5.2? Uh, so Mid Journey 5.2 is still the default mode on Mid Journey website and also on Discord. So we do need to actually change the setting to Mid Journey B6. But according to Mid Journey office hours, we should have fully functioning Mid Journey V6 website by the end of January. So that's really exciting. Okay, guys. So this is something that a lot of you were interested in these puffy things. Uh, so let's see how we can create something like this. And I'm just quickly going to open my um, checker as well, how we check whether something is actually a tile. So we have here 3D inflatable cute starfish, quilty tile, seamless pattern tile in the style of this brush. Actually guys, you know what, like we can really edit a lot of these words out now that we have V6, we are sort of like relearning how to prompt that we can also see, you know, how we did in the previous uh, versions and how many unnecessary words we were using. So this is something to be aware of. But this actually works quite well for this. <clears throat> then we have this one, this one. Guys, also, how can you tell that it's not Mid Journey V6? Uh, if it was V6, it would actually say here next to the tile that it's actually V6. Okay, so this is again a starfish here. So you've got quite a few examples uh, of Mid Journey V5.2. So let's just try and see whether if we can download it and what the tile actually looks like. So I'm just going to. Pop it here. Oh, it's really wonderful. It's really lovely. This would look great on a Mac, doesn't it? So there's loads more guys you can create. I'll show you some more. So here is some flowers. So 3D inflatable, cute daisies, tile, seamless patterns again. Then we have some sweets, as we can see here, butterflies. So basically 3D inflatable and whatever you want. After that, here we have some uh, cute cotton diamond. Flat background, yeah, something to try. And we've got all these cute daisies and flowers and hearts. Oh, these are just gorgeous. Um, yeah, then we've got these flowers again. <laughs> so cute. Okay, guys, so this is Mid Journey version 5.2. It's doing an excellent job. Hardly ever does it create a tile that actually isn't a tile. Now, I want to show you some other ones that I have created. Guys, I'm not going to go over how to use this website because, as I said, I have another tutorial on it. But yeah, they're still absolutely lovely, aren't they? So what I want to do, this is like 3D inflatable cute daisies, uh, quilted tiles. So what I want to do, I want to actually rerun one prompt um, in uh, V6. So let's have a look. So 3D inflated cute daisy flowers cartoon. So that's very, really cute. What I'm going to press, I'm going to press use prompt because that will give me a prompt here. And I can also specify that I want V6. Yeah. So now I should have it in, in uh, V6. Oh my goodness, I forgot whether we need to put space there, but I hope so. And our prompt had now been generated in Mid Journey V6. So how do I know it's Mid Journey V6? Well, it says here, if it doesn't say V6, then it's not, it's V5.2 because that's the default still at the moment until they sort of release the final version of Mid Journey V.6. As you know, we are still in the waiting mode. So guys, this is what I'm talking about. It's not necessarily a tile. Well, it's not a tile at all. It's not a seamless pattern. I don't even know whether this is a seamless pattern, but let's have a look. I'm just going to download it um, <clears throat> and also download this one. And as you know from my previous videos, it's very simple to check 
whether something is a tie or so. We are still testing, guys. We're still doing the um, the V6. So this is quite nice. So it's a quite a nice style. And it also, what about this one? Yeah, so yeah, this is actually a seamless pattern. So it did well. But as you saw the other uh, examples, these two were not that at all. Right, okay. So the other images that I've created in V5.2, you know, you can do stars. It's a really, really cute. What else can we do? Yeah, all sorts of inflatables. Well, let's um, maybe download one star and see. Um, I'm actually going to, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this one. Oh, goodness. What's happened? Download this one. And I'm just going to pop this new one in here. So the star one, this is really nice as well. So this is, guys, this is 5.2. And I'm also going to uh, download it. So then when we pop it on the Max, we can see the difference. Yeah. Um, right. So where, where, where are we? So this, these are our 5.2. So there's all sorts of um, prompts that you can use, 3D inflatable, cute flowers, uh, quilted tiles. Guys, there's one thing that, um, you know, I have, I've had requests for this specific type of uh, sort of this kind of wrap for tumblers. Now, I believe that is actually being created in Photoshop because I was sort of like researching and media and it isn't able to create all those sort of like um, things at the top, like sort of like wavy and curvy, um, but you can try it with Canva. So this is all media is at the moment capable to do. Yeah, so literally anything we want, really, really lovely. This is quite nice as well. So 3D inflated puff, 90s nostalgia, seamless pattern again. V5.2, so all sorts of lovely play around with uh, colors, bubble score. Yeah, so obviously here, as you can see in V5.2, we are prompting differently to V6, but we still can use these prompts in V6. But uh, that's a tutorial for another, that's uh, for another video, how to prompt in V6, yeah. So these are V5.2, all of these are V5.2. This is gorgeous, isn't it? 3D inflated cute daisy flowers cartoon. Well, let's let's download that as well because it's so cute. I'm just going to pop it into my checker. Wonderful. And I'm just going to download it. And right, guys. So now let's go over to uh, Me Journey V6. So here I was creating some, let's take a look, some 3D inflated pasta cookies. I quite like this one. Let's download that and see whether it is a seamless pattern. With V6, guys, you really should check. Uh, again, this is, this is quite not, not okay. So this is not a tile. So you really need to check your tiles before, um, before actually <laughs> working with them because they're not always a tile. Okay, so this is quite cute. Cookies, again, it's V6. Let's see if it is a tile. Yeah, this is a tile. Yay! <laughs> but let's let's see if we can get a, a nicer one. So yeah, that's the problem. You know, like it's not always a tile. Now this co coffee stains, I believe. Yeah, so these are quite cute. Uh, but I think I've got a better one somewhere. This is, I think, again V five point two, guys. So you, again, you know, when there's no specification what mid journey it is version, then it's five point two. That's quite nice. But we want more uh, examples of of V six. Um, so this, this is V6. Okay, well, let's take a look at whether this would be a tile. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, I don't really like see it. Many of the results that we are getting in V6 are quite disappointing. Now, they were quite good, some of the good ones. For example, this one may seem like it's a tile, but if I just show you, and then I just pop it in my checker, it's not, Yeah. So it may look like it, but it's not. Guys, so that website to the checker, it's a free website. It's a wonderful, wonderful checker. It's py, well, pichunk.com forward slash checker. Okay, so yeah. So with Mid Journey V6, it, it can be quite tricky to get, as you can see, these are not, uh, these are not tiles at all, right? So yeah, it's, it's, it's still not getting there, but of course we are getting updated version soon. Uh, full version is going to be really shortly. Now, I believe this is quite nice. Let's just quickly check. Um, and then we, will, we should have fully functioning everything. Okay, so I'm just going to download this. And I think I've got quite a few examples. And we're now going to be taking a look at how to use Gelato or any other 
print on demand company to apply our wonderful puffy, <laughs> puffy images onto the bags and tumblers. Guys, so in this final part of tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, sort of create lovely, lovely um, uh, sort of wrappers, mag wraps and uh, all sorts of wraps with a company called Gelato, but there's so many print-on-demand companies. Guys, if you are looking into this, uh, really do your homework. And of course, you know, you can create any any pattern, any tile that you want. Uh, so again, guys, what we did, we went to Checker, and then I actually like to download this, the whole thing, because then I can stretch it and sort of adjust it as I like. So if I now go over to my Gelato uh, website, uh, obviously I'm logged in as myself and I'm going to go over to product catalog and I'm going to go to mugs and I will start with normal mug I think um I quite like these sort of like a latte mugs but I'm going to do a straight mug for this one so I'm going to go for 15 and then we just press on these are the prices but again guys I have so many tutorials on how to use this <laughs> um how to create these that I'm not going to go into it so let's just go start designing and what I'm going to do drop your design here and um, I'm just going to choose a file that we did just now uh so I'm just going to start with let's see what I can start with so let, let's do the um the older ones first so I have these cuties for example, this one, this starfish. So it's quite a large file when we download it. So let's just sort of like wait and see, wait until it downloads. Guys, so first things first, we have to have a proper uh, DPI for print on demand. And this is actually fantastic, but we are obviously going to stretch it. So it's not going to be 1,269. So I'm just going to stretch, 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 stretch stretch obviously we have this is a pattern so you can actually adjust it to whatever you want if i wanted even more i'm just going to do this and i'm going to stretch it even more yeah oops depending how big you want these stars to be and then what i can do i can actually uh, 3d preview And we should have a lovely preview. Yeah, so look how cute there. So guys, this this has been created in V5.2. Of course, if I want to do, remember, guys, I did not upscale this image on Mid Journey. So of course, you know, you can do that. You can actually press creative, whatever you want. And it's absolutely lovely. Let's try another design. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to um, pop my second image. So let's see. You know, I'm I'm going to do the V point five V V six point zero, <laughs> and I'm just going to pop it in there. So these are our coffee stains. Um, oh my goodness! So I did it too much. Let me just try again. Just off, and I'm just going to do hundred, and I'm just going to put it here and just drag, 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 drag. Yeah. Uh, Guys, this this is because it's a tile. You can literally do it any um, depends on how how big you want this. But I would always stick to three hundred DPI for mugs because I think that's quite quite a nice quality. Okay, and let's see the three D preview. Yeah, so the colors aren't like that great, but I think, you know, if you sort of like, we can always adjust the colors in mid journey, say, you know, like caramel or something different. And also, guys, I didn't upscale it, but this is how you would do it. And it's so cute. And, you know, yeah. So, guys, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you loved it. As we saw, you know, like mid journey V6 isn't perfect yet, but we are expecting full version i believe by the end of uh, january 2024 and of course it will get much better also the text rec recognition will be much better so there's a lot to look forward to guys thank you so so much for tuning in to see this tutorial and i'll see you next time thank you